Hi and uh, welcome to this video uh, which is going to go over my reef tank controller. Here it is right now, kind of apart. As you can see the controller is showing that we're at 26.2 degrees and heating. The reason is because the two thermometers were just in my hand and um, I'm going to try to stay the focus on there and get them to heat up a little bit more. And here they go. And 26.5, it stops heating, and then there's a hot alert. You know the ING, I have a problem with my display not clear enough. But in 27.9, it triggers a hot alert. It actually triggers it at 27. But basically what it does is there's two thermometers over here, and those two thermometers are getting averaged out to find the temperature. There's also a float valve, and I'll show you what it does. So right now we're back on proper temperature. But the float valve right now, here it is, I was going to show it in the background. And if it triggers, there you go, made float high. And what that's basically telling me is that the level in the aquarium went too high. And this in turn will um, trigger one of these relays to switch off and um, turn off the recirculation pump. Now these relays are all connected same as the temperature sensor the float valve to the Arduino through these plugs which I've wired into this project box. The Arduino is going to get buried in there. Uh, the keypad is for entry and I'll show that in the next video. And, um, and basically this project box here is what will hold the relay and as you can see it's powering a, um, well it's controlling a Shovet PC08. It's a power bar normally used uh, in the music industry. I like it because it has custom switches, well it has uh, individual switches, so the way I wired this inside the Chauvet is I actually made it so that the switches will be overriding um, the Arduino. So if the Arduino powers something on, I'll still be able to power it off, uh, for example for maintenance. Here I'm just going to cycle the program just to show you guys um, that basically I have the PC08 working. So here it is cycling and you should see all the lights flicker one by one. And there you go. So um, right now I just have it so that um, if you come down here you should see it. But basically I'm just cycling through all my pins for uh, 100 milliseconds. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to finish working on the program for the PC08 and uh, actually controlling it on the on and off. Since I have the controller logging events right now, it's just a matter of introducing the PCOA controls into it. Uh, once I have this buttoned up and working, I'll post another video. Thanks, guys.